What's Tia? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, you guys, I'm pretty sure y'all may have heard of Bia a little bit. Um, so this is what happened, and I have to get into this really quick. I kept on hearing this song, and I was like, um, oh, my God, I love that song. Yeah. <clears throat> I kept on saying, I love this song, right? So, so I go and look into who, who, you know, the artist that did the song. And I was just going to DM the girl and say, yo, I love your song. Keep doing your thing. And I opened the DM and I see that the, the girl, quote unquote, had been, had been DMing me for three years. Spam <laughs> so so i was like so i was like oh my god so i i i, I um i start reading all the all the dms and i'm just like oh shit this is uh this is crazy so i hit her i said yo i never knew you hit me i was just calling to you know congratulate you because i keep hearing this whole lot of money song and this shit is hard as fuck and what i like about it is that I can see that you put emphasis on every line and it wasn't just about a dope chorus and a beat that, that it, and, and, and I, I don't feel that a lot. Um, I, I used to feel that and that used to be my inspiration for wanting to rap and every fucking line counted. Hold on one second. It's Drake. Hold on. Champagne poppy, get off of, get stop texting me, please, and go to your 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 big booty ting. It's a, Drake mm -hmm. gonna text me talking about be a fine. Go <laughs> aren't you dead in your face? Um, okay, so <laughs> so so I go to so I I see she had been DMing me for a while, and I'm like, oh, this is a a real a person who really fuck with me but at the same time ever not everybody but most people be like yo don't ever work with another female rapper again <laughs> right mm -hmm. so i called her oh i mean so i i spoke to her and i and and i said guess what it is what it is wish you the best she said that she um had gotten some requests for her for her, no, I'm reading. I'm reading the comments. Told my somebody, somebody told my Drake finna fly her out. No, it, no, it, no. So, um, so I said, you know, um, what, what's your plan for everything and who you sign with and stuff like that? Just asking her questions, and um, she was like, a few people have reached out to me about the remix, and I didn't realize she was on the song with Russ. And I said, oh my God, that was you? Because Russ had asked me to get on that song. And these are my, this is what I said to Russ. This is what I said to Russ. Russ can tell you this. I said to him, Russ, the song is hard, but I do not want to get on it because who, who, what, whoever the girl is on it killed it. And I was so sad about that. About and I don't, and I said to him, you don't need me on the song. I want to be on a song that needs it. It doesn't need it. Shorty body the shit, right? So that's what ended up happening. So now I let like I don't know a week or two go by, and she and we spoke, and she was like, and I didn't you know write a verse. She was like, I would be honored if you if you out on the remake, because da da da. But I wanted but I wanted it to be organic with her, and I didn't want her to feel like she had to you know. So I just let it let some time go, maybe like a week or two, and then we spoke again, and she was like, um, you know, Nikki. A lot of people have reached out to the label. I'm getting a lot of pressure to put certain people on the remix, but I really only want you on the remix. I only wanted you and you or Rihanna as the only two people I want on the remix. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I was like, you know what? Let's let's do it. So she came over to my house in my studio, and we started working. And the first day, I was like, okay, I don't know. Tell them, tell them, tell them. You were like. You you were you didn't she didn't really she was open enough to me but she wasn't all the way open to me on that first day right and I left and I was like okay you know my spirit was a little like I was like damn maybe she doesn't like me like I hope she like me you know and then you hit me back and I came back over and 
bitch, it was his three. And so, best friends. <laughs> and so I asked her, hey, do you mind if we do a back and forth on it? Because I've never been able to sit in a room with a, with a female and really like, you know, whatever. And I was like, but I don't want it to be the redundant, the same old thing. Nicki Minaj puts a verse on something. Um, I was like, do you mind if we if we really take time and make this special and do a black a back and forth? Mm-hmm. And Which I will- you made me get all the way together. Yeah, she was like, no, child, that line ain't it. <laughs> I like, no, I- do you really want to leave it there? Like, be yeah, that line. You could do better than that line. Right, right. I was. But I didn't. And sometimes you don't know because sometimes people get offended. And I was praying that she didn't. But um, I was like, listen, this got to be epic. I said, because the first thing people going to say is, why Nikki touched that song? That song was fly. That song was ill the way it was. I said, so be it. I have a different level of pressure when I give her someone's song. Mm-hmm. I can't just say anything. And if I let you say anything, they're going to cuss me out for that too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but even when there were times that she was in a booth and I was kind of like going a little bit hard. Vocal producing. You do it again. It. Do it again. Do that. Da, da, da. Give me a little bit more. Mm. Yep. Now she, with a little more attitude. Yep. <laughs> I knew she was going to feel a little way, but I gave her this story about Kanye West and doing Monster. I was like, you know what? Monster became my most, you know, critically acclaimed verse. And that was not the first verse I wrote. And I'm not afraid to say that. It wasn't. And Kanye told me, go back and rewrite. Yes, the fuck he did. <laughs> and then when I was in the booth, he kept on saying, um, no, do it like this, do it like this. And I'm just sitting there like, no. And I cussed him out and left the studio and, you know, do, did all that fun stuff. <laughs> but, you know, he, he wasn't letting up. He like, oh, it's going, we're going to get this right. And then I remember after I did the, the verse, he put it together and he took certain certain parts and he and I was like, no, because he was like, I like the growling part. And I'm like, I hate that. I just had to let it go. I just had to trust that this man who I looked up to so much, who asked me to the studio, I can't disrespect or violate this man by saying no. You know what I mean? I know better. I had to let this man be the genius that he is. Mm-hmm. That's why I thanked you when I got home, because I was like, nobody really gives me that much constructive criticism so I took it in and I was thankful for it it definitely wasn't like somebody it didn't feel like somebody was trying to change my artistry it felt like like I just want the best song let's get the best song we could get yeah and we were we did that shit like together we sat there minds together and yeah. pinned those verses ourselves like yeah hmm. yeah <laughs> and I, I appreciate you so much I appreciate you having me to be a part of this moment with you because you didn't need it. You, I, like, I'm sorry, but like, what I wanted to, what, the, what was important that I needed to say was that that's like not happening anymore. Um, so many people are hitting me like, yo, what, where, where, you know, female rap is, you know, where, where, the, where the bars and where, you know, where are the, oh shit, that was hot, or oh shit, I didn't get that line. And you know, what, what happened? So I was excited that she cared about that as much as I did. And then I was able to show how much of a weirdo I am to care about it that much. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so, hey, let me see your it on because I got a couple questions to ask you. So now, you guys, this, this song is dropping in 15 minutes. But before we go, I wanted to ask her a couple questions because in case you didn't know her, for you to get to know her a little bit. And we just going to rapid fire. You can't not answer a question. Do I have to answer like a certain amount of time? So can I think about it first? Or like I was just answer really fast? You, no, no, you can think about it. Okay. Oh, so I asked that question already. Who did you originally want on the remix? Oh, but you know what? How did you feel when, when Rihanna posted a video walking to your verse on the Russ record? That was like probably one of my my best feelings ever because you know when you when you're a fan of somebody but genuinely like you respect them you like them and you value their taste level when they do some shit like that it's like it's a different type of stamp because their their taste level is already so high like right because everybody paid attention when we when Rihanna posted that video mm-hmm. everybody was like wait who is this bitch and what is that song shout out to Ree shout out to Ree um. 
I'm me and my lipstick off. Okay. <laughs> um, who have you written for in the past? I don't think people know that you are a writer for others. You've written for others. Um, so I've done a couple songs. I did a song for Camila Cabello. Um, I had a little big song with J Balvin and Pharrell. Um, but I've just I've written. I can't even remember right now. I've, but I've you always, were doing that though, like you were writing stuff and sending it as well. Yeah, I always sent references out like. Tons of people, I just, people hit me up like, do you have rap references? And I just send them out. Mm. We ain't going to talk about the people who asked her for rap references. A lot of people ask me for rap references because I got that pan baby. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to get into that. Should I ask you a question? Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> I got to finish my question. Did you finish your question? Did okay, we, okay. we got to drop this song. Boom. Okay. Um, what, what male rapper do you want to work with the most right now? I love you, Big Sean. Um, okay. I got two. Okay. Can I say Quickly. both? Yep. Okay. Um, and, like, equally, I, I like their, their music, like, so fucking good. Like, I like... Roddy Rich and Drake's music for men right now. Those are the only two guys I really like, really want to collab with. She like other male rappers, but those are the two she want to collab with right, right, right now because she got ideas. Yeah, I got ideas like on deck. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you feel other female rappers will be happy for you about this collab? And, and will they both all post tweets saying, congratulations, Leah? Um, I do. I do think other female rappers will be happy for me because I'm a, I'm a cheerful person. Like I've I've cheered on a lot of other people and I played the background and didn't have a problem learned how to be happy with other people's success. Mm. So I expect people to do that for me too. Because oh, let me have mine. Let her have her moment. Don't make me cry, child. No, don't cry. Good cries. Good cries. Cause you you deserve it. But I can't. I don't got a lot of time. But hold on. Okay. Um. <laughs> Do you think anyone will feel like you didn't deserve? Isn't that funny? I didn't. I didn't remember I put that, but that's what I just said. And do, do you think anyone will feel you didn't deserve it? And what's your response to people who gonna say why she got a feature? Because you know I already get that. I I get that all the time. I don't know why people think they can you ask know my me that. Responses? Yes, girl, fuck you. Ooh, uh, <laughs> my bombs and my bombs. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now. <laughs> Now you can't you can't not answer this question. Oh my God! Why you, are you question? You feel you like that? You can't you can't you can't not answer any of these questions. I got butterflies from your questions. Okay, like, hey, good. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill, and yet have to answer. No, I can't. Take hold that dog. No, 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 I can't. I can't. I, you you have no, to. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you have, that's I what I cannot do. I don't listen. This is a game. This is a game. Kill, this is kill, not, kill. This is not. No, I got to go home to him, to an Aries. Kill, 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 sweetie. And I have to go upstairs <laughs> to an Aries, Jeff. You're going to answer No, I'm, I'm killing, I'm killing No, plus, plus plus you got, look at, no. So listen, let me tell you this. Whoever you got to go home to has to understand, because I was, you know, I've always, I've always been a relationship girl. But I had to, when I went on the radio stations, mm -hmm. I answered questions. Because look, it's not, it's not really you and your vagina. This is. A game. Now pretend you, you know what? Pre do it for me. Act like you're answering these questions for Onika Tanya Mirage. And act like I just landed from Pluto and I have nobody. <laughs> Who would you want me to fuck? Girl, I will come pick you up. <laughs> you being corny. You being corny. All right, just ask it, but I, I can't it's make for any me. promises. It's for me, not your vagina. I no 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 it's not for your vagina. Listen to me. It's not for your vagina. And and boyfriend watching, I love you. I know he's on and the She line. loves you. No, no, no. Listen to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. She loves you and respects you. But she can't she can't do this. She can't. This is her first Indian record. She got to do this. Let me have fun. Fuck out of here. Ah! All right, let me see okay. the question. Let me see the question. Because I got to be honest Mira. with you, too. They, none of them might be my Mira. type. I'm very spicy. Mira. Wait. Hold the okay, one. Hold the one. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill for me. 
For you? For me. For me. Oh, for so you. So it's not for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Um, because my husband knows I have the most respect for him, so he know. Yeah. You guys are married too. Drake, I'm not married Drake, future young thug. Oh. All right. Well, I would say. I would say maybe for you, marry uh, Drake because you have a great friendship with him and you got to marry your best friend. But I will also say um, marry Young Thug because he's a Leo and his birthday is August 16th. So he's very loyal. Young Thug and me are like the same person. So I would, I would definitely kill Future only because Ooh, on this, Ooh, just on this, Ooh, just Ooh. on this, no disrespect Future, it's all love game. <laughs> I just, I just, in this lineup, I'm just going by what I baby, know. Baby, baby, you, know, you, you gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet. Okay. <laughs> your mic, mic would have got cut, baby girl. Your mic would have, your mic would have got cut. I'm just radio. giving you, you my reason. So y'all, listen, it, I might have a new home for Queen Radio. I can't tell y'all right now, but, but baby girl, your mic would have definitely been cut. Now we got ten minutes before this song comes out. Whole lot of money. Be a featuring Nicki Minaj. Okay, forgive me, feature. The goat. I'm still featuring. Hold her. on. You didn't answer the question. What was it? Fuck. Marry, kill. Mm. In order for us to get through the questions and for you to answer my questions, you got to answer this so we can go. And then if you don't answer the questions, the song ain't coming out. Okay. For me? Yeah. No, no. For me. I just did. No, you said to marry. I said, okay. You so said marry Drake. Marry Drake, fuck Young Thug, and kill Future. Or swap Drake and Young Thug. I just can't figure that one out yet. <laughs> I need you to. I, need I just you, I need like, you to work on being decisive. No indecisive on Queen Radio. Okay, okay. Mary Thug. What? Mary Thug because he's a Leo. He's loyal. That's what I would do. But okay, so Mary Thug. Fuck Drake. in that situation. Cut the mic. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Her final answer is Mary Thug. Fuck Drake. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not. Como se dice? I'm not done in in in, in, um, in, in Spanish. You're not done. <laughs> you're not done. Oh, you Spanglish? <laughs> Bitch, get the fuck out Como of here. Como se dice? Um, bilingual. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it gotta be the. It's okay. very exciting. All right, look. <laughs> now, fuck Mary Kill. Okay. For me. Okay. 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 Little baby. Little Dirk, the baby, and you can't. No, you gotta answer. Listen, look okay, at what time it is. We got eight minutes before the song come out. Okay. You gotta ask my question. We gotta little, go. Little I ain't gotta baby, talk. little Dirk, but you know what? They all taken. I can't. No, no, they, it's no. And, and game, I, listen, no, no, it's taken. no disrespect. Oh, it's no disrespect, and all of these, and all of their women, I respect and yes, have nothing but love them. and have nothing but love and respect for. So I want this is just a game. I want to make that very clear. Okay. This ain't got. I like that. That this was ain't... noble of me, girl. Look, <laughs> they what I said or not, they know they ain't getting my punani. <laughs> so, um, no, but listen, and Barb's ain't nobody asked y'all a comment. Bye, y'all. They say, <laughs> baby Dirk <laughs> and who's the other one? Little baby, little Dirk and the baby and the baby. Um. See, somebody says she's overthinking it. Bia, in seven minutes, the song is going to come out, so they're getting the fuck up okay. off the live, and you still got to get ask me my Mar Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Mary Dirk, you... Little baby and the baby. Chow, we got two minutes. Okay, kill, kill, the, kill the baby and go with little baby. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't so know. wait, <laughs> so you said Mary Dirk, mm -hmm. fuck little baby, and kill the baby. Yeah, I okay, that's the final answer. She, yeah. that's the best. That, that was the final. Yeah, this is like pulling teeth at the dentist. Because <laughs> I just, I'm trying to envision it, and I just don't, I don't know how I would envision it. I wouldn't pair that. Be a, the game, I overthink. Yeah, blood clot overthink. Okay, man, not Which do is, that no more. Oh, never speak that <laughs> ang, uh, accent again. <laughs> man, not do that no more. What is your sign? What's your sign? Leo, August sixteenth. I tell you, super loyal. <laughs> Mm, I, know, mm -hmm. I know Leo child. I know Leo. <laughs> okay. But yeah, but listen, by, the, by the way, by the way, we love uh, the baby and we love future. Yeah. <laughs> so listen. 
R&B version. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, quickly, Bia, we have five minutes. Okay. Bitch, you wait, you got All right, I'm going to go fast. I'm, I'm just going to wrap it to this you one. Make them, get them, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Okay. Chris Brown. And by the way, like I said, we we love and, and and adore and appreciate everybody's marriage and, 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 and relationship. This is just hypothetical. Chris Brown, The Weeknd, and Gunna. Let me, let me eat my ice, bitch. I kill, can't. Kill, kill Gunna. Marry The Weeknd. Fuck Chris Brown. Mm. That was fast, right? Mm. My bad, Gunna. I don't know why it's like... Kill Gunna. Now the we down. I feel so bad saying and kill. Like, ah, Chris. why kill? Like, why not just... <laughs> and fuck Chris. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um, international things. Drop the blood clot. Bomb the blood clot. What? I just heard my husband. He probably like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, hey, Zaddy. I love you, Zaddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck, Mary, kill. Whiz kid. Oh, international things. Whiz kid, DeVito, Burna boy. I don't know what they look. What they all look like. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, but you know what, babe? Sorry. I should have I should have told you that. You should have pulled me yeah, up pics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. I don't I can't okay. answer that. I don't know what they look like. Right. You're right. Um <laughs> we, we gotta ask like the reggaeton version. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> no, no, mind your business. Mind your business. Okay, mm. you, got it. you got it. Shout out to Rico Dana. Shout out to Southside Jamaica motherfucking Queens. We in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? I, see, this is the thing. I always run out of time. I gotta do a, I gotta do, I gotta do a subsequent live because it's a couple things and a couple hoes and then I gotta motherfucking expose. You see how I made that rhyme? Uh, okay. Yes, you about to do it. We got two minutes. Oh, blood clot. All right. No, 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 no. Y'all want blood clot comments? Y'all want blood clot comments? Drake, don't comment on the live if you're not gonna go live. I just sent you a request. <sighs> because when Drake heard the remix, and you know, I always say he don't act like that about stuff. He really be he he'll really tell me like, well, he won't say shit like you know, and I know what that means. But when he heard this record, this remix, he his actual words, his first words was, "Oh, this shit is out of here." Um, you know, I love Champagne Poppy. Okay, now you got to answer this one. Fuck Mary Kill, Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny, or Romeo Santos. Mary Romeo, Mary Daddy Yankee, um, Kill Bad Bunny, and fuck, fuck Romeo Santos. Why you have to put the little fake tongue bone on just because they Spanish? <laughs> Romeo Santos. Romeo Santos. Um, Bad Bunny and Bad Bunny. Okay, and now listen. Daddy Yankee. This is your um. Ja, 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 ja. You got two more questions. <laughs> Wait, you got at midnight Nicki Mon uh Bia featuring Nicki Minaj. Bia featuring Nicki Minaj, whole lot of money will be out everywhere and we love you and thank you. But but hold on, I need y'all to give me five minutes because this is important. Top who are your top three female MCs of all time? Oh okay. Top three female MCs of all time. And I'm not just saying this because you're right here. I'm gonna say you. Okay. I'm gonna have to say Foxy. And I like MIA because when I was growing up, she was just a, a big female rapper that impacted me. Wow. So that's just why I always say them. I MIA. love her too. I, I love, love her that. too. I love her, her creativity. Uh, now, what is your nationality, real, real quick? And, and, and um, where are you from and where were you born? Real quick. That was my last question. You could do yours real quick. So I'm half Puerto Rican, half Italian, and I was born in Boston. Well, in Massachusetts. Let me just be clear. But, you know, I lived all around Boston. So, yeah, I'm from Massachusetts. 
Okay, because the reason why I have reached out to you is because when you was like the bodega and stuff, I don't know why it just made me feel mad happy, and I was um it, I was envisioning New York bodegas. So yeah. that's another reason why I reach out. Because my dad is from New York, so I lived in New York equally as much as I would say I lived in Boston, like childhood. Okay, but I just claim Boston because you know that's what shaped me. Like where you grow up as a teenager, I feel like that's where you're from. You right. Know what I'm okay. Quickly, rapid fire your questions, and I'm gonna answer it because we got sixty seconds. Can Come you on. pass me that phone? Yeah. Um, my questions are, it's okay. I will get it done really quick. Okay. I'm going to ask you something I've been dying to ask you. And I know maybe some of the people have been dying to know some of these questions too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the best, the biggest misconception you think people have about you? Well, that I'm a bitch unprovoked. The other misconception that people have about me is that, <laughs> is that, um, is that, um, I've had, uh, my nose done. To the point where I ain't gonna say the rapper's name. He gonna come in the other day. I'm finishing doing my makeup. He gonna be looking at my nose. I said, boy, get out my nose. He, I, I, I've never had my nose done. Um, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I don't, I'm scared to, I've always been scared of, um, of, um, of surgery on the face. Mm. Because I just never think, for women of color at least, that it adds i feel like it all it often takes away and looks ends up looking weird um so that's so that's another that's one of the misconceptions go ahead okay another question is what do you want to see more of in music right now bars next question okay how do you um what's about what's the most valuable lesson you learned in your career That's a good one, right? Yeah. Don't stop to look back. Mmm, that's a good one. Okay. You should write that on a quote. Tattoo it. it, it, it Drake said it the other day when we, he was here. We were talking about something. Okay. I know imitation is flattery, but does it ever get annoying? Yeah. Sometimes. I think people want to hear you say that because I guess, like, people, people, I'm sure people want to know, like, how do you feel about having so many sons? And you know, like, what, what do you, what would you say to your sons if you could tell them, like, a piece of advice or something, like, in terms of originality? Go to your room and let mama handle it. Next. Oh, next question. Okay. Um, what would you tell your younger self? You're beautiful. You don't need all that makeup. Oh, I love that. I'm about to go take my shit off. And, okay, what did you think about me when you first met me? The, there were two impressions the first day and the second day. The, but but there was an impression on the live, which got you to my my house, which which nobody couldn't get to my house. The impression that that you gave me on the live was already so genuine and sweet. And me seeing that you had been DMing me for a few years, it touched it touched my heart because I was like, for me to have reached out to her just to say, hey, thank you for caring about every line and making every line dope. Not every line has to be a metaphor either. Like, I don't think people, people think when I say dope, like it's a metaphor. No, every line don't gotta be a metaphor. But it just, it was like, the lines were fresh to me. It felt fresh for hip hop. And, um, and so to know that you like had fucked with me like that, it was like, oh my God, let's, let's figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's figure this out. And then the first day when, you know, like you said, at the end, by the end of the first day, I was like, okay, let me see. Cause I've been hesitant, not knowing if I should work with female rappers. And there are some stories that I want to tell about that because you guys don't know certain things. And I see certain comments that y'all make and I can tell y'all don't know, but we don't have time today. And today is about Bia. Today is about Bia. That's all, that's all, that's all. So, mm. so, and, but, but, but by the second day, um, I told you came by yourself. Mm -hmm. And we were able to bond, and I was like, oh, okay. We it, had real, real. real girl moments, by the way. Like, I just want everybody to know, like, I was nervous and a little scared coming back the second day because you hear things or you might be scared, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how somebody's going to perceive you. And it wasn't like that. Like, it, it felt, I left with, I felt like a big sister, and it felt like I just wanted people to know that, you know, I had this experience, and I wanted everybody to, to you know, if you have somebody that you look up to, don't don't be scared and to, you know, even reach out or just tell them how you feel in a genuine way because you just don't know how they might need to hear that too. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's real. That's mm -hmm. some real ass shit. Yeah, so by that second day, I was like, oh my God, this bitch is going to be in my life forever because it's beyond the music. I was like, you know what? 
send me some shit, bitch. Let me see if we can put you on my album. And, and, and I don't, I, you know, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Go ahead. What's your, how many more questions you got? I think you, I think that was really my best question. Okay. <laughs> um, the song, A uh, Whole Lot of Money. If you got one more good one, we can go. You got a good one, are you ready? Ready to throw to the song? Yeah, go to the song. Go okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, y'all, I fucking love you, my fans, and everybody that tuned in. God bless you. May may God really bless you. You didn't have to come here. You didn't have to give us your all your attention, your energy. But God bless you guys. I love you so much. And to be a blessings on the future of your career. Thank you for being a genuine sweetheart. I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say about Bia. Okay? Oh yeah, no, I want to let everybody know. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. So don't, if I see some, you're getting blocked. If it ain't, what the fuck? I'm gonna be good, okay? Because y'all don't know people behind the scenes and that's what the fuck y'all gonna motherfucking learn. You gonna learn a day. But anyway, you guys, I love y'all. Um, it's a whole lot of money, Bia, featuring Nicki Minaj. And our names together, our boyfriend and girlfriend name, our dating name is Barbia. Barbia. So I love you guys so much. I'll go on Twitter and, and you guys let me know how, how what you feel about the song. Uh, you can comment under my last Instagram post. Show Bia some love on her um, social media. I got, I'm about to go and follow Bia. Everybody go and follow Bia. I didn't want to follow her because I didn't want to give, give away the surprise. Tell her how you feel and you guys let me know how you feel. God bless you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Bia. I love you. I love you too.